But we do have to talk about uh, Tiafima Lopez, though, um, to close out the video. His card is coming up this weekend. He is returning against a fighter called Pedro Campa. Tiafima has been having some issues going on, some family law issues. You remember at the, his uh, post-fight interview um, for his last fight, he's saying, you know, he didn't see his daughter in a while. There was rumors that he was going through with divorce and all of that shit. And it's just like, man, a lot going on, you know, and then... He um, was, I, you know, from a business standpoint, I'm going to go ahead and say he was a bit disrespectful to top rank. Um, basically holding out for a purse bid for that Cambosos fight. And now he has to go back to top rank fighting Pedro Campa. This Pedro Campa guy, let me go look at it real quick. By the way, I'm going to guess it's going to be a 6 p.m. Eastern card. It's going to start on ESPN Plus, as they always do. And then the broadcast is probably going to start around like 10 p.m. on regular ESPN. Here, let me go to the top rank uh, YouTube page. I'm sure they have a promo up already for it. You're going to have um, guys like uh, Xander Zayas. I want to call him the Duke, but what is it? Duke Reagan on the card. Hold on, let me go to the top rank uh, YouTube page. Get you all the uh, particulars. I watched Nope this weekend. What do you guys think about that? I had to watch like um, the YouTube explained videos. I mean, I got most of it, but I was like, all right, all right. But I think it's the worst of the three uh, Jordan Peele movies. I think that um, Get Out number one, Us number two, and Nope number three. So let's see. Let's go watch the top rank official trailer on the fight. The takeover. Let's go see. Hopefully, they don't make me edit this out. It's only a trailer. Top rank. ...is trying to take back. Teofimo Lopez will return to the ring. This kid's going to come back with vengeance on his mind. No doubt about it. They're coming for him because they see blood in the water. And I want to see Team Lopez's response to what they're dealing with. We took over 135. And now we're on our way to take over 140. Let's get it, baby. Take over. The takeover is back, trying to take back what was his. 140, they don't have a real player on the hand. If he's at 100% physically and mentally, he can take over. Oh, what a big shot by Lopez! And there it is! He has done it! How do you like that? Teofimo Lopez, showstopper! Body good, good love skill, big bad mood. You yeah, uh, been that dude. You yeah, just a takeover, protect what's yours. Wow, what a knockdown! Contender or beyond. Big bad mood. You yeah, uh, been that dude. It's a takeover. I guess I'll be when I go to bed watching some uh Pedro Campa uh tape. I'm surprised I haven't done anything already, but here he is. This guy, Tiafimo Lopez, is going to be fighting a Pedro Campa, 34-1-1 with 23 KOs. You know, sometimes these Mexicans show up, you know, you know, like a bet out of hell. But looking at his resume, he fought an undefeated fighter who was 22-0. When I see something like this, I say, let me go see who you were 22-0 against. Something fishy here. Oh, I mean, it's not that bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. You know, I don't know. Tiafimo may be vulnerable, bro. I don't know. I don't know. But he should beat this guy. He's been stopped before. He should beat him. He was stopped by a uh, Carlos Jimenez back in 2017. Oh, this guy's 14, 10, and 1. So basically, this is return to top rank fight. You know, a little bit of, I'm guessing, a light touch for him. Yeah, Teal still has his father in his corner. Teofimo Lopez, 16 and 1 with 12 KOs, 25 years old. Lost to George Cambosos via split decision. I still can't believe he lost to Cambosos. Cambosos is going to be fighting Devin Haney sometime in October. No official date yet in their rematch over in Australia. 
biggest win of his career, obviously, over Lomachenko, Richard Comey, Masayoshi Nakatani, Edith Tatley. Looking at the 140-pound division, though, here is where I was confused when I covered Arnold Barboza's fight. Liam Paro is supposed to be fighting Brock Jarvis. Me and Big J got a video we're going to be doing on that. But Liam Paro is supposed to be fighting Brock Jarvis sometime in September or this fall on the zone um, in Australia and over here in the States. But will the winner of Liam Paro, Brock Jarvis, especially if it's Liam Paro, be ordered to fight Arnold Barboza? One of these guys is the mandatory. You know, it's kind of it's, it's it's a confusing situation right there. But I definitely want to see, you know, well, here's the thing. Let me slow down. Let me slow down. I think that there's a high probability that if Tiafimo Lopez wins against Pedro Campa, that we're going to see Tiafimo Lopez versus versus Arnold Barboza. I think that's going to happen. And then the winner of that. Maybe fights. Jose Ramirez, Jose Zapata winner, who was ordered to fight that WBC title. Then you got Liam Paro. Put it this way. We're going to find out a lot about Devin Hay, I mean, um, about Tiffy Lopez at 135 pounds. And then remember, the guys at 135 are going to be eventually coming up to 140 pounds. So I'm really interested to see how he's going to look because now, you know, it's, it's, it's a pretty deep end. No, wait, correction. Isn't it going to be Cepeda versus Regis Progre for the title now, right? Not Ramirez. I believe I saw some news like that. And then you're going to have Josh Taylor, who's going to be taking on Jack Catterall in the rematch. You got Alberto Puglio, who's going to be taking on um, Bakhtir Akhmedov for the vacant WBA title on the undercard of uh, Broner. Versus Omar Figueroa next week, August the 20th. We're waiting to see what they're going to do with Sabriel Matias and uh, Jeremiah Ponce for the next IBF mandatory, I'm thinking. It's a stacked division. But for me, if, if I'm a betting man, I believe we're going to see Tiafimo, you know, beat Compa. Then we're going to see Tiafimo versus Arnold Barboza. The winner of that is probably going to go the WBC route and fight whoever has that championship between Zapata and Regis Progre. Or just wait to be mandatory for the WBO. But you got Liam Paro right there from Australia. I don't know. It's a lot of interesting storylines there. <clears throat> it's a lot of interesting storylines at 140 pounds. But listen, guys, I'm going to get up out of here. I started a... Uh, $2,500 uh, $2, calorie a day diet, and I'm doing 15,000 steps a day, which is about six miles a day of like cycling, I mean, walking, jogging, um, running and running. And basically, I've been feeling it, you know. And also, I'm on, uh, I got my other stuff all upstairs, but I'm on snack. I'm on the snack program. And let me tell you, this shit gives you a fucking boost. Let me tell you. I start, um, I take it, and then, okay, this morning. My, I usually have my workouts done before noon. So I take it at, like, 45 minutes before I go out. I do my stretches, and, man, once you hit that gym, you be going hard, like, hard. You know, so I'm already down um, five pounds since just, I think, no, five pounds since just a few days ago. Mostly water weight and shit like that, you know. But y'all yeah, don't want to hear about that. And plus, I'm not sponsored. So if they want me to fucking, when, once I finish my weight loss journey, you know, they're going to have to give me some free, um, some free shit. So I'm going to get up out of here. I'm going to be back tomorrow. And I'm guessing we're going to be getting the Conor Ben versus Chris Eubank Jr. press conference soon. But let me edit this video up. Um, I'm going to get up out of here. My podcast is going to be coming out this weekend. Very excited. Uh, I talked about it earlier in this stream and in this video, but I got to get my dog out. Go take a nap. I'm exhausted. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe and follow me on Twitter at T Street Controversy. The links to my social media are right down below in the description box. Also, download the WBC app powered by the Vive Network for Roku, Android, Apple. Links also for that down below in the description box. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Please subscribe. Oh, and hey.
not doing this for my health. It'd be great if you can drop a like before you go. It's almost like closing the door on your way out. All right. Thanks for watching.